All right, everyone, the U.S. government has decided to move more troops to the Middle East. Oh, yes, during election year. Isn't that spectacular? Of course they would. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a good election year game. Make sure that there's a war going on and people don't want to choose, you know, the different vote. They, they want to stay with the same one that they've had. This was actually a point that was made in the 2004 election. When they talked about George W. versus John Kerry, both a couple of fucking retards, they said, well, George W. Bush has the advantage because people don't want to switch your boats in the middle of the river. Well, there's a war going on. Well, I think that we know what they're doing now, don't we? The fact is that they're willing to take your sons and daughters and throw them as a meat shield against a bunch of Lebanese soldiers in order to win an election. That's the only thing that they're doing. That's all that they're doing. Can't you see it? They've even talked about it openly before. They, they talked about it in a, in a glowing reprise, actually, in the past. These people are reprehensible. They're goddamn animals. They're terrible people. They're actually demonic when you think about it. Uh, I mean, I'm demonic too, but in a different sense. Um, they, they want to kill your sons and daughters in order to win an election. Yeah, they sound like great people, great leaders and everything else. Mm. No, they sound like bitches to me. They sound like a bunch of assholes, actually. Um, I would prescribe the uh, methodology by which they could be cleared out, but uh, I would probably be banned on a YouTube video. Terrible people. Absolutely horrific. Uh, and, 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 you know, that, that's the long and short of it. They're, they're horrible people. We broke this on the quartering live stream, actually, earlier. And when I first saw it, I couldn't believe it. I was like, they're sending more troops to the Middle East now? No, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We've already got, a uh, link in the description, 40,000 troops in the general region. 40,000 troops is a lot of men. Um, they're probably capable of handling things. Nope, that's not enough. No, now we need like 80,000 or something like that. And a couple of aircraft carriers. And a battleship. And a couple of frigates. And, you know, the whole carrier group and everything else under the sun. You know, a thousand aircraft. It's, it's, it's just a little thing. You know, don't worry about it. I get tired of this. As a millennial, and I know that some of the younger viewers will not fully understand this. As a millennial, I had to see the invasion of Afghanistan and the invasion of Iraq. I had to see hundreds of thousands of people killed. And they would gleefully tote it on television. You don't understand. You think that the internet is edgy. Bull fucking shit. CNN was edgy back in the day. Oh, here's this pile of splattered corpses and stuff like that. Eh, just imagine Hurricane Katrina. They showed this to us. They showed it on live TV. They didn't edit it. They didn't edit it at all. They showed it to us as it was. They showed us the corpses. They showed us all of the pain and suffering of other people in the world. And, of course, uh, the uh, millennial population uh, generally went against the war. They showed it to us. And it was horrible. And I don't think that any of you understand it. Because you haven't, been ex you haven't experienced this. Uh, you've got to understand, the, the experience that you've got online is sanitized. When you look online, the online world that you see is massively sanitized. It's censored to all hell. It uh, makes no sense sometimes. And, uh, and, and is, you know, it's, it's cleansed. It's, it's purified, so to speak. We saw it raw. We saw it raw on live TV, back when the uh, legacy media actually did its journalistic due diligence. Um, they only did that because Bush was president and he happened to have an R after his name. We had to see the dead bodies. I saw people hanged upside down on live TV being burned to death. I remember that. The, uh, the, the Blackwater Mercs, I believe it was at the time. I had to see that. Uh, we saw people getting sniped 
We saw people getting shot, in, in the more general sense. Entire columns of men marching across a wasteland of, of burning oil wells and uh, getting shot at and things like that. And people don't realize this. Younger people, I don't think, understand. This is real. When somebody gets shot, it hurts. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> When you get a bullet in your uh, body, it, it hurts. Uh, that's the whole point. It's supposed to put you down. Uh, you're sending more U.S. troops to the Middle East. What the fuck are you thinking? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, I don't want my younger brethren to have to deal with this bullshit. I can't deal with this anymore. It's just insane. Uh, it, again, link in the description, archived, of course. Uh what are these these are war pigs terrible people horrible horrible people absolute evil chaotic evil uh they're not they're not in it for you they're not in it for me they're not in it for you know, any other citizen or anything like that they're doing this over a war that supposedly we have nothing to do with anyway well that makes a whole lot of sense how wonderful I feel so glad. I'll sleep so soundly at night knowing that you're going to war over there. And you did such a good job, by the way, with the last couple of wars. Yeah, you'll do a great job uh, with this one as well. It'll be a debacle just like the other ones. Because these people can't get their shit straight. Because they're fucking retards. That's about all. Peace out.